Hey everybody, Ian here at City Gear 2014 and we stopped by the Switronics booth to talk to Jose Flores about their new breakout box. Now you know with a lot of the compact camcorders now, the Super 35 sensors, uh, great functionality but sometimes power distribution can be a little bit of a challenge. So Switronics has a revamped uh, jetpack that they had out a while ago. This is the new version of it and Jose you want to take us through it a little bit? Sure. This is the Jetpack X. Um, it's a power breakthrough, like you said, uh, with a 20-watt lithium-ion battery inside of it. Um, the 20-watt lithium-ion battery inside uh, goes up to a 200-watt loadout. So you can actually even put it on an Alexa Phantom and things like that. And what happens is when your first battery dies, you can actually have a five-minute buffer where you're still shooting and going through your project, and you can switch out your batteries. Um, you can actually hard mount it to the camera, you can put it with a V-mount adaption or a three stud Anton Bowers type plate, gold mount um, kind of thing. Um, as well as it has a, uh, it charges as well as the backup and a low battery indicator. It also works with our Recon X5 which is our wireless transmitter. Okay, uh, so let's talk about the different features on, on the back here. You've got the V-lock, but we could swap that out for a gold mount as well. We can swap it out for a gold mount. Um, you can actually have gold mount to gold mount. Um, you can also have V-mount to gold mount or V-mount to gold mount in the front. Um, there's all different types of flavors and variations you can have. So you can actually put it to a cheese plate as well. Okay, and that grace period or that buffer period when we're swapping out, was that rated for accessories being plugged in as well? Yeah, it's rated for accessories, so uh, that's why you can put it on the Alexa or a Phantom or anything like that because it goes up to 200 watt loadout. So you can have, like you said, your smaller cameras, your C300s and things like that. Um, and you can have all your accessories, your monitors, recorders, anything that you have or need, it'll be rated for it. Okay, let's talk about the, the other side of it, the connectivity itself to the camera. Uh, what's the connector you're using and do we have to make any provisions for any types of cameras or is this sort of a Not universal? Actually, right here on the opposite side you have uh, three different outputs. You have a 7.2 volt, um, you have your 12 volt and a 5 volt, as well as a 11 volt and 17 volt DC in and a USB connection. We can actually change them out for Hiroses, Limos, any kind of uh, configuration you, you need, we can actually set it up that way. So it's almost... Uh, a custom option. Okay, I'm also wanted to ask you about the actual oh. connector right here. Uh, how is that connectivity with different types of cameras? Well, your two-pin Amphenol is pretty much a generic connection with any V-mount or three-stud plate that comes uh, OEM from your manufacturers. When you remove that plate, you can actually just connect your Amphenol connector right to it and hard mount it on. Um, every manufacturer has an Amphenol connection, so it doesn't matter if it's a Sony, an Ari, it, all the brands have Amphenol connectors from their mounts, whether it's a three stud mount or a V mount. It's all Amphenol. Okay, and availability on this? Uh, availability, we're ready to ship. So, you know, in stock, um, you can find them at Able Cine, and we have a ton of them. So, all right. Ready to go. Thanks. So, thanks, Jose. This is a great power distribution uh, product from Switronics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.